Hi, my name is George, and I'm here with my mom. The date is May 12, 2020, and we are recording this interview in Chicago, Illinois. We are recording this interview during the COVID-19 pandemic, and we have been in quarantine for about seven to eight weeks. Here are our questions. Do you think we're going to be in quarantine for a long time? If so, how long? The things that are... The way the things that are going, I think that the quarantine is going to be at least till like July. Okay. You... I'm hoping that it's until July, but I don't know. I think it's going to be till that long too. Do you think the effect of COVID-19 is going to have a long lasting impact on life moving forward? Oh, yes. Uh, not only medical, I think there's going to have like long effects on the people that got sick but also on the economy. The economy is hitting hard. A lot of people are losing jobs. A lot of people are losing their businesses. Uh, it's gonna take a long time before they could come back up, I think. Are there things about me that you've always wanted to know but have never asked? Oh, but this is very personal though. Okay. Is it okay? <laughs> Yeah, go for it. It's for the interview. I don't know either. Okay, when we went through our trials, that it was hard. When we moved to Chicago, you guys never talked about when we moved out here. If you miss it out there, how did it affect you? Did the transition from Shorewood to Chicago. You guys never talked about it. Neither you or your brothers. And I always wanted to know, but I always, I don't know, I always skip that question because I don't want to bring out maybe feelings that you don't want to discuss. Mm, well, I mean, obviously, I, I, mean, I don't remember, like, everything, but I miss, like, how cool it was. Like, the backyard was pretty big and, like, the house and stuff but it was easier over here like transportation and stuff we didn't have to drive or be in the car for hours and hours going home and coming coming to school and stuff so i actually like that more so you're happier here yeah okay. like as a baby or as a young child as a baby or as a young child as a baby and as a young child as a baby Mm. <laughs> you were very outgoing. No, as a baby, you're very active. You were a jumping bee. <laughs> yeah, I used to play with everything and anything. And you always ask so many questions about everything and about anything. That's what I think I like about you that, that you speak up your mind and you don't have any filters to just say what's in your mind and and you go for it. I never, I guess that's how you were when you were little. I you like were, that And answer. you were happier. What do you mean? I don't know, you were a happy-go-lucky kid. Like everything, nothing bothered you. Like everything, you always saw, every, you always saw the good thing in everything. And you're always happy. So. Now you're a little, grumpy. I guess, teenage years, you're a little more, not grumpy, but you go through your mood swings, which is understandable, I guess, you're a teenager, but when you were little, you were always happy, you were a happy baby, you were a happy baby, even when you, in grammar school also, you were a happy baby, I remember that. I like that answer. <clears throat> what were the hardest moments you had? when I was growing up? The hardest moments, it was accepting that you were growing up. That I was getting older? Yeah, it's not only with you, it was with your brothers too. It's just accepting that, that you guys don't need us as much as you used to, that you don't depend on us anymore, which is good. I mean, you're becoming a man, a young adult, but it's always hard. I think it's been harder on me than on them. <laughs>
remember do you remember when i would i would cry sometimes when i was like a little kid because i was like you guys are growing up and everybody's growing up and stuff <laughs> yeah um, mm, number six what did you think your life would be like when you were older pretty much what it gets now having a steady job having a house with the kids i never predicted like having so much sports involved that was never in my <laughs> itinerary when i you know from young to getting older but as you guys have enjoyed it i've enjoyed the the you know watching you guys play watching you guys uh growing to that so but pretty much i i, I see it like how we with a family with kids with a steady job mm -hmm. um what were the best times and the most difficult times of marriage mm. The best times and the most difficult times. I think the best times is when we first got married. It was like, especially in our wedding. I mean, we were so happy. Well, I was so happy that day. And stop, don't, you always bring it up that I was like four, day, four hours late to the altar to church. Four hours, you were half a day late. But um, that was like the happiest day of my life. I not only enjoyed like getting married with dad, but just like everything, how I spent time with my dad, with my mom, the day of the wedding. I mean, we talked about so many things. That's why I was late to everything. That day I was just enjoying every moment. And after that, you know, the beginning, it, it was it was nice. It was difficult to adjust in a way because it's hard to adjust to live, live with someone that you don't, you know, you got different, I, get, I don't know, it's just different to live with someone that is not you. I mean, I used to live with my mom and my sister and my brother and my family. So you, you're used to them moving into a, a new house with a stranger i mean it's not a stranger but my husband it was it was hard to adjust he's got different likes and stuff likes and i had different likes so it was kind of hard to adjust um yeah that's it okay if you could do anything now in terms of occupation what would you do why I never pursued my dream. I've always wanted to be a, since I was a little girl. I remember when my dad, my dad always used to be sick and he would always uh, tell me, oh, give me a massage here, uh, Chelly. He used to call me Chelly. <laughs> like, oh, my back is hurting. He would come like from work and I was little and he would tell me my back is hurting, honey. Just give me a massage. And I started, you know, trying to, uh, or his legs he's always complaining about his legs and i used to tell him dad when i will grow up i'm gonna be a doctor and i'm gonna make you feel better and i'm gonna come up with a cure and so i i would be a nurse i think that would be something that i would pursue but now i feel that i'm too old to <laughs> to be a nurse never too old and yeah that would be my dream yeah. what are you proudest of in your life what am I proudest of? Mm -hmm. Of you guys. Of us? Yes, of you, of Abel, of Christian. You guys are my pride and joy. That's my... Accomplishing that. You know that. I know you're not perfect, but you guys are good kids. You guys listen to us. I mean, we have our ups and downs with you guys, you know, go through your rebel years but and your rebel moments but at the end you do listen to what we tell you we you guys you guys are good kids because of the upbringing that we had given you so that's the most that's what i'm proud of if you were to die suddenly this evening what would you regret not having done why haven't you done it 
I was doing so many things, but mostly my job. I, I mean, I'm there because it's a job and it gives us, uh, it's, it gives us stability for me and my family, for my kids. It supports the household. But if I were to die, and I would, I would just leave that job. I would just leave that job. Okay. Well, that is the interview. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.